Welcome to the video. Today we are bringing you a mostly weight loss Q&A. Got a whole bunch of questions here from my Instagram and Mr. Harley Johnstone will be reading them out to me and here you go. When did you become as health conscious as you are now? It all started back in late 2014 when I was in year 11 at school and I started taking cross country running seriously. I was training four times a week and I was a state cross country runner. I was the fastest 800 and 1500 meter runner in high school and I wanted to improve my performance. And that is when I started to learn about the power of sugar and carbohydrate and looking after your blood and proper training, smart training, rest and recovery. So it all started back in late 2014 and it's been a journey since then. You know, over the years, I learn more and more and I get better and better at what I do. So it's not just one answer because you're always learning, you're always evolving and I will evolve more from here. It's ongoing. So almost nine years, right? I'll, I'll, I'll read the question out and then you also read the question just in case the mic's better. Okay. All right, next one is, uh, I know this is from Valeria. I know this depends on different body types. Actually, I'll just I'll do it this way because it's easy work. I know this depends on different body types. I've always been pretty lean. I'm five foot seven and I gained weight in the last year. Just want your opinion on this. If I weigh 160, how long will it take me to get to 130? If I strictly stick to your protocols and bike 15 miles every day. So she's 160. She's 5'7". She wants to get down to 130. All right. So it, How long is it going to take? Mm. How many days, hours, and minutes? So uh, if you gain weight, it depends. Did you gain weight because you ate a lot of fat? Or did you gain weight because you rebounded from past starvation and dieting? So if you've got a good TSH, a low TSH, you can lose those 30 pounds in a few months if you're biking, cycling 15 miles a day. Uh, if you've got a high TSH and you've rebounded, then it'll take a little longer, but you could get there in six months for sure. You just have to fully commit to our protocols yeah. and not do them for a week or do them for a few days and then do something else <laughs> you have to fully commit to them and you really have to have that self-belief if you don't have that self-belief and you're just full of doubt and you're lacking confidence that will really prolong how long it takes you to get those results you have to be a boss bitch about it and be like i'm getting this done this is what i want and i'm not stopping until i get there it's true yeah. so you have to actually do the protocols properly and you have to have the self-belief and Val, you'll get there in a few months. Let me let me add something as well. Uh, all all the women I've coached over the last twenty something, twenty five years of weight loss, the girls who look like Natasha are absolutely obsessed about what they eat, how they move, how they live, who they hang with. All right, this isn't just a part time gig to get a slim, fit look, hot looking OnlyFans body. This is obsession. All right, girls like Natasha. They're obsessed. All my girlfriends, all the people I've coached have got results. Obsessed. Okay, so you can't just, you can't just fight us around and go, well, I, I might do it for a week. Blah, blah, blah. These girls are obsessed. They're, they're thinking it 24-7. Skinny, skinny, skinny. Looking hot, looking on point. All right, it's not just a part-time thing. They're obsessed about it, okay? Let you know that. And most girls aren't ever going to get their goals because they're not as obsessed as the girls who get the results are. And I'll also add, because I've put in the work for so many years... It becomes very, I mean, parts of it are very easy for me to maintain. I obviously still put in the work into my training and that's hard as shit doing TTs, time trials and efforts. But because I've put the work in for so many years, I haven't made it hard for myself by starving, rebounding, starving, rebounding. That's hard. Yeah. Being that, fat's no, hard. That is hard. And then each time you do that cycle, it gets harder and harder to then get skinny again. Yeah. Being fat is hard. You know, missing out on life opportunities is hard because you're fat and unfit and have poor health. That's hard. Doing a time trial, doing our protocols isn't hard. When I say Natasha and co are obsessed, it's, <laughs> they live a really easy lifestyle. All right. 
It's, yeah. So when he says obsessed, it's more, it's our priority. That's right. So it's a priority for us. And we live that on easy mode every day yeah. because we just do it. Fat girls or fat people have a priority to be fat and f- slim people have a priority to be slim. Okay, so join our protocols. You have to worry about it. And you do it the right way. Next question. Next question. It is. I'll hold this one. Um, tell me some high carb vegan recipe. I can get you. They can. If you want high carb vegan recipes, get, recipe get the book. Get my ebook. Get the book. It's in my Instagram bio. Get a book. Um, next question. Hi Natasha. If I do your protocols, can I get amazing results by walking and rebounding? I don't have a bike at the moment. This, see, this is. I'll, I'll add my bit in there. No, I'll add mine first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I, yeah you do so it. that's the whole question. Yeah, yeah. If I do your protocols, can I get amazing results just with walking and rebounding? <laughs> uh, you'll get okay results. You know, we, we don't know how, how fat this person uh, is. We don't know. You know, you, you could get okay results, but you won't get the standout results that I have and that you probably want. The easy results. You have to, you know, get on the bike. You know, walking and rebounding. You know, walking is fantastic. I walk every day. You know, I walk from A to B, I walk around the city, I sometimes walk to the shops if I want to get a bit of conditioning in the legs. But like, rebounding, it's it's not going to get you the hot, tight, fit, toned, firm body. No. Rebounding is a good thing to do when you wake up and you just want to get the blood flowing, or if it's raining and you're stuck inside, you do some rebounding. That's excellent. I'm not saying don't do rebounding. Yes. I'm just saying that rebounding alone won't give you standout results. And th- this, this person wants amazing results yeah. and they're already trying to customise it. Well, I don't want to do the bike stuff. It's like you're never, ever, ever going to achieve the results Natasha and co get because you're trying to customise it for you and take shortcuts. Just saying. But also there, there's the unknown, the unknown of the cycling territory because it's a very steep learning curve. Yeah. So yeah, I recommend this person join my coaching group or let's yeah. let's hop on a coaching call so I can find you a bike best suited to you, your budget and your goals. Get you set up, man. I'll, I'll get you set up because it is a steep learning curve and I was lucky to uh, have my dad get me my first road bike and then have Harley's advice. I read his e-books back in 2015 and uh, got my tips there. And the rest is history. So. And, and it is a steep learning curve because they want it to be a steep learning curve. Like they don't want you to be looking hot like Natasha. Like we, we, you know, that at twenty five, there's not many girls in Australia as slim as Natasha. And if they are, and they're Aussie, they've generally got some coke habit issues or eating smoking, disorders. or they yeah, do yeah. meth or yeah. mad eating disorder. Yeah. I saw a girl the other day. I was like, oh, she, she, she's as she's as skinny as Natasha, and she's she starts lighting up a cigarette. And she's got a Coke Zero in the other hand. So. I was like, okay, there you go. And she looked in a foul mood. I was like, oh, here we go. All right, next question. Next question. Um, does Get Fit Natasha include exercise recommendations or just recipes? Your ebook? Oh, my ebook. There are There is a small amount of exercise recommendations, but it, it is predominantly food based, so nutrition and recipes. Here's a great question uh, from Liv What are your average daily calories, and does this vary a whole lot? Great question. How many calories a day do you eat and burn? <laughs> I couldn't tell digest. you. I couldn't tell you because nobody knows exactly. Nobody can accurately determine exactly how many calories they consume, absorb, and burn each day. So I recommend counting calories if you want to live a life of misery. If, if you want that, then count your calories. If you don't, and if you want my results, then do, do what I do. Don't count calories and do my protocols. So I don't know. I <laughs> I carb up and I eat to appetite every single day. The leanest couple in YouTube world that I'm aware of doesn't count calories. Doesn't count calories burned. We don't care. We don't track that stuff. Now back in the day, I used to say count calories. Just type it in the chronometer, and I'd still recommend noobs do that just to understand. You actually got to eat a lot of food to sort of get you two and a half, five thousand calories, whatever you want to, you know, like. As if you, being being high carb, low fat, plant based foods, you do. Yeah, because people are like, oh, well, I have two bananas, and I'm, I'm, you know, that's that is that's that's too much, isn't it? Isn't three bananas too much? It's like, well, three bananas is maybe you know two fifty, four hundred calories or whatever. It depends how ripe and big they are, and it depends how you digest them and stuff. So, counting calories can be good in the context of being a noob and going, wow, I actually got to eat more rice because I only 
I'm only eating maybe a thousand calories a day. And again, that's still going to be between 800 and 1400 calories. Okay. Well, a thousand yeah. calories, maybe 800, might be 1400. Because so counting, counting calories is not accurate, but can give you a ballpark idea. What my recommendation would be there for noobs is to actually count the carb grams in the beginning, not the calories themselves, just the carb grams to see how many you need each day. And if you have to get strict on your fat intake and you're unsure of how much fat you're eating, just count your fat grams for a bit and see where you're at. So the grams is good. The calories, no. Yeah, yeah. And, and it won't be 100% accurate, but it'll just, give you start, it'll just start give you a focus on eating low fat, mm-hmm. okay? All right, next. Next question. Um, followed you in doing writer's protocols. Lost a lot of weight. Thank you, Susie Q. As you do. Good work, Sus. Um, I have a Candale Super 6 Evo. It's a wonderful road bike. Your frame looks similar. It is. Um, here we go. Here we go. Uh, where are we going here? Um, oh, this is just repeating itself. Okay. Okay. Um, where are we currently living? Have we been to Canada? Uh, we are currently living in Adelaide, South Australia, and we recently came back from Southeast Asia. We spent just under a month in the Philippines. Next question. Hi, Natasha. What healthy occasional fats would you recommend other than avocado? Uh, well, it depends on your goals. What are yours? They don't say, they just said healthy fats. Healthy fats. Yeah. So, like, well, it depends on your goals. So, what what does this person look like? Um, Is there a pic? Yeah. I would, or they're female, so I'd say they're probably wanting to lose weight. They're probably wanting to lose weight. Yeah. So, that, yeah, I'd, I'd say they're probably wanting to lose weight. Okay. <laughs> so, I believe this person, this female is coming from the angle of, I have to have healthy fats. I have to have Correct. healthy overt fats. But she wants to lose weight, so no, you don't. You get all of the essential omegas and essential fatty acids that you need just by eating enough calories of whole plant foods. So you don't have to worry about your healthy fats until you get to your goal weight and your goal slimness, and then you can include whatever healthy fats you want. So personally, I have to eat healthy fats and healthy protein to keep my weight up because I don't like dropping below 56 kilos at 178 centimeters, five foot 10. So don't worry about the healthy fats, the avocados, the nuts, the seeds, you know, the oils, they just slow down your results. They slow down your weight loss. So only when you get to your goal slimness, you can add them back in. Last question is, Kel, I have a stationary exercise bike, which I love and use all the time. Will this be enough to you to lose weight? I don't have a bike right now and nervous to ride around on my own as a noob. No, because the stationary bike is boring as batshit and you just can't get the results because the experience is so much lower and it's totally incomparable to riding a real bike out on the road, out in nature, out in the fresh air with the wind and the hills. It's just, it's incomparable. So no, you can't get the same results. Um, We've all been cycling noobs. I was a cycling noob living in Sydney, but because I wanted it, I did it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get on maps got on maps I looked for cycling paths around my hood I looked for various ways that I had to get to my destinations and I did you know sometimes I'd get lost sometimes I'd take a wrong turn oh I'd stop check my phone you with phones these days yeah just go and explore get your phone it's in your pocket got the map there in your hands so because I wanted it I learned and uh and that's why Natasha has the body she has man and the girls her age don't you know she went like just saying Natasha, again, like I said before, and the t- these girls are obsessed, girls. All right, you got to get obsessed, man. Yeah. Okay. So I'll- while, yeah, while I was a little bit uh, nervous, you know, you're just starting out something new. You know, your confidence increases with every ride. But if you just, you know, hide under this umbrella of, oh, I'm nervous, oh, I'm scared, oh, I can't go out there on the roads, then, you know, that's just an excuse. And that just means that you don't want it bad enough. You bingo. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. If you don't want it bad enough at this point in your life, that's okay. That's okay. But I just don't want you to beat yourself up and say, I'm this, I'm that, because you didn't take action years ago when you could be a certain way now. So, yeah. 
yeah, let's just use Natasha again as examples to wrap it up. You know, like, like so let's say you know, Natasha, so she started riding to school, you know, like, so 10 years ago, started riding around. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so, like, so, yeah, so, 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 so then you're 15. All right, so Natasha started developing her physique, her aesthetics, you know, 15, working on that, preserving that. And now at age 25, she has a, a really, really easy life compared to the average 25-year-old girl in Australia who has debt from university, who's, like, has a rent or live at home or blah, 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 blah. Natasha is in the point zero point zero zero one percent of life freedom right now in the world in the world for for anyone for that matter you know in terms of her lack of responsibility her finances her ease of life and that's primarily because natasha put in the work she connected with me she just went for logical choices so think girls where you where you want to be in five years time or ten years time that starts today okay Think about the last five or ten years you've wasted. Hopefully you haven't, but if you have, that's a reminder, a wake-up call. Stop wasting time. Okay? And then I'll just add on to that. That's very true, Harley. So even if you have a very different lifestyle to me right now, that doesn't mean that you can't get results. Because when I started commuting in Sydney, I had stress responsibilities. I had a little bit of debt. Um, and I was living the stress kidney sydney life but i was still riding around because it was my outlet and it felt good and i didn't want to be stuck in a car so i was in sydney i was still riding around still getting it done exploring so if i can do it you can do it yeah and just and just lastly as well because i know people are but natasha's just she's just beautifully naturally skinny well natasha's from sydney freely from sydney okay and uh freely wasn't skinny okay when when i took her under my wing and got her on the bike okay and i'll just add that half of my family are overweight or obese so i'll just add that you know people uh assume and comment that my whole family you know look like me and that's why i'm skinny because i've got their genetics not true you know i could get fat i could get obese but uh i don't want to that's right so yeah so again Leanne was 73 kilos when we met, and then she got down to 50 kilos. Okay, so, well, well I, I, I'm not skinny and beautiful like Natasha. I, I'm, I'm quite dumpy. And, 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 okay, it was, so was Leanne, in her words. Okay, so it works for everybody. Leanne put the work in. Natasha puts the work in. If you put the work in, guaranteed you will be so skinny, people will make YouTube videos about you.